Here we are again in another Tiny Lands video. The amazing Spot the Differences game by Hyper 3 Studio. You might have picked up this game for yourself by now and been looking to all the differences in all the different amazingly created worlds. If you get stuck anywhere, this video might help you. I'll be showing you where to spot the differences in the wood world, the woodlands, which is the first world in this game. Hopefully I will not make too many mistakes because, well, that's not what a guide video is for. But here we go, the wood world, and we start the wood world in the waterfall level. Here we go with the wood world. Enjoy! As you can see, the first map is the waterfall one. It is also the tutorial one where the button prompts are on the left. Use A to turn, use D to turn, W to zoom, and S to zoom out. Now we spot the five differences. The first one is indicated by the arrow, the green rock on the left and the brown rock on the right. Spotted differences turn gold as you see. Next one, you see the lotus flower down here which is pink on the left and white on the right. Let's click it. After that we got the bird on the right with the yellow feathers over here and the pink feathers over there. Let's take it as well. Next up we turn the picture to find the log lying down on the right standing upright on the left. Here we go. And the last difference on this map is the pillar up top which is lying down in the left picture and standing upright on the right picture. There we go. Onwards to the next level. A scene near the water with two people doing some wood carving and we're going to also find five differences here. Let's start with the fish right here in the middle of the picture. In the left picture the fish is more to the right than the right picture. What we can also see from this angle is that the canoes up top, the to left canoe is leaning more to the left in the left picture. That's another one. We can also see that the package in the boat is positioned differently. So let's click that one as well. What else do we see? Let's turn the picture around a bit. We see that the lily pad on the left here is smaller than the one on the right. Let's take it. And looking for one more difference, we see that the barrel in the left picture is a lot bigger than the one on the right. Which concludes spot the difference puzzle number two. Onwards to number three. We see what seems to be the woodcutter's lodge and the first thing we spot is a sword on the wall hanging differently. There we go, first difference. What else can we see from this angle? Oh, not much I suppose. Yes we can, the bird on the roof is positioned differently. Let's click it. We also see that this broom is positioned differently on the stone. There we go. Let's move the picture around a bit to see if we can spot anything else. Yes, the red fish on the left is blue in the right picture. Let's click on it instead of next to it. Only one more, it's the stump over here differs in size. There we go, five out of five and onwards towards the next level in the woodlands. The next level seems to be a cart of some sort and a couple of knights who walk here. Let's look for the five differences in this picture. The first one I see right away is the box right here is positioned differently. Also, looking around, I see that these two flags are positioned differently. The right one is not at the corner. There we go. Uh, we also see that there is a blue flask in the card, whereas there is a green one in the right picture. 
There we go. Two more. Turn around a picture of it. The shield seems normal. The packages seem normal so far. You never know when you're mistaken. The knight's shield has a different color on the left and the right. Let's click it. I'm looking for the last difference. What could it be? Not the package, not the barrel. The shields seem normal. What about these imager these images over here? They also seem rather normal. Make another turn. The stone has a different shape. It's taller on the right. There we go. Five out of five. And onwards to the next map in the woodlands. Which brings us into the woods again. Where we see some deer and an Indian guy petting his dog. Let's see what five differences we can find over here. The first one already I see is the log on the right here. Positioned differently. There we go. Turning the picture around. We see... What do we see? The log on the right seems normal. All these mushrooms seem in order. The mushrooms seem in order. There's another bird over here. The butterfly is positioned differently. Butterfly in the tree is higher up. Then the stone on the tree next to the pigeon is bigger on the left. There we go. Another difference found. Looking for the fourth one. What about the Indian guy and his dog? Nothing different here? No? Doesn't seem like it. The spider is also positioned differently. Is higher up. Yes. And the leaf under the spider. There's a red leaf on the left and a yellow one on the right. There we go again. Five out of five. Onwards, we go to the next map. Again, we go to one of the huts. What can we find in one of the huts? Outside of one of the huts. Let's look. The pot next to the well is bigger on the right. Let's take it. Also, the big pot next to the house is positioned differently. Gives us another one. The ladder seems normal. The horse also seems normal. The shield on the table is bigger on the left. Let's take it. Clothesline, very suspicious. But, seems normal though. The flagpole is higher up on the left house. Yes, it is. Looking for the last one already. Maybe to the back of the house. Well, this seems in order. See, the ladder seems in order. The guy climbing the ladder also seems in order. What about the door? We can zoom in as well using the zoom buttons. I think the door is in order as well. As are the crates. What about the horse? No. Nope. Use your eyes. Use your eyes. The stones, normal. The logs, normal as well. It's games like these that make you question your eyesight. Stone over there, no, nope. seems normal. Zooming out, how about the windows? The windows seem in order as well. The card could be the card. Nope. Both, both those things. Ah, I see it. It's the barrel next to the horse. It's bigger on the right picture. Only slightly, though. Only a slight difference. The next map in the woodlands is actually a water level. Um, the f I already see a lotus flower here. That's white on the left and green on the right. Let's take it. Let's take it. What else do we see in this in this view? This all seems in order. There's another here, a lily pad. It's green on the right and brownish on the uh, green on the left and brownish on the right. Let's take it. 
What about the fisherman? Yes, the barrel in the boat is positioned differently. There we go. What else do we see? Any suspicious fish? We hear the fisherman reeling in. The lily up top is positioned differently. The big lily. There we go. There we go. Only one more to go. Always look out for suspicious plants and fish in levels like these. Look for the lily pads, look for the stones. These stones seem normal, the stones up top also seem normal. It's games like these when playing this I think the viewers have probably already seen the difference because their eyesight is a lot better than mine. Still don't see it so far. Look at the lilies. They seem normal on both ends. The colouring also seems the same on both sides. How about these ones over here? Plants? No, nope, seem the same. The fish. The fish seem. Let's zoom in on the guys in the boat. The fish in the barrel, they are the same. Fish in the barrel are the same. The guys are also wearing the same clothes in both pictures. We hear the soothing sounds of the water distracting us from what we are doing. The red fish, I don't trust him. Yes, he does look the same in both pictures. What about the things over here? No, it all looks similar. No, this lily pad is smaller on the left. I had my cursor on it the entire time. Let's move on to the next map. Ah, the fishermen have set up camp. What can we see in the campsite? The steak on the table, I see it straight away. It's positioned differently. There we go, the steak on the table. Let's see. The fire extinguishers lying down in the right image. That's a difference. What else do we see? Chair, the logs, the tent looks similar to me. Basketball also looks similar. The first aid kit is positioned differently. There we go. And the green bike on the camper is also positioned differently. And there's a bear behind here. We did not see it before, before we started turning. But the bear seems, diff uh, no, seems the same in both pictures. Out of habit, I was going to say the bear was different, but it's not. How about these trees or these bottles? The backpack? No. The barbecue itself also looks the same. As do the chairs. It's the, the umbrella. The colors are inverted. Such a big part of the picture, but we found it nonetheless. Now we go to the Indian's camp. We already see that the wing here on the right totem, the wing is standing differently. Let's click it. Yep. And on the same totem, the bottom part is dark on the left and light on the right, which rhymes. There we go. What else do we see? There's an orange thing here, which is not on the left. There we go. Let's keep looking. Only two more. The bow is similar. There are some eyes. There are some eyes. But they are the same. How about this small thing? Yes, the nose is bigger on the left than it is on the right. There we go. Only one more to go. Could it be something with the people? Or is it 
that last totem. We haven't found anything there yet. Looks normal though. People also look like they don't have any difference. This is a guy in some sort of orange pajamas, looks like. No difference in size in the barrels. What about the tents? No inverted colors here. The, the Indian guy itself! Here he's looking to the left and here he's looking to the right. That's it! That is it! We found the final difference. We found the final difference and we go on to an island where a deer is standing on the mountain. What do we see upon first glance? On first glance, let's do some turning. Here the butterfly in the bottom left is lighting up on the left and not on the right. It says we are wrong. We are not. Clicking it in the right picture solved it for us. Alright, next one. Look around the pictures. Ah, there's a purple mushroom over here which is green on the right. Let's take it. The other mushrooms seem to be in order. We have to look for every detail. Lily pads seem in order. Also these mushrooms. Here's a lily pad missing on the left, which is here on the right. Oh, here it is. What? It says we're wrong. Must have misclicked. Also the white mushroom is positioned differently. Let's take it. There we go. Only one more. Maybe it's the deer itself. The deer with the golden antlers. Seems to be in order. Something in the water then. Or something with the butterflies. No? No, they seem to be positioned similarly. Lily pads. Doesn't seem to be anything off with them. Only looking for the last difference. What about the lotus flowers? We've had those before. Yes, on the left. This one is small and this one is big. There we go. Five out of five again. And that concludes the woodland area. Well, hopefully this guide is helpful to you. Of course, I would advise you to find all the difference yourself, which I should have said at the beginning of the video, but hey, you get the gist of it. If you recommend this game, and I think you really should to other people, be sure to, to let them know to find the differences for themselves before using this guide. Of course, if they choose to use a guide, I would recommend them to use mine. But I will see you in the next video in which, as you can see, we will cover the Waterlands. The Waterlands will be the next world. I will see you in the next video. Thank you. Enjoy your day.